so good evening everyone and uh, uh, as we heard uh, some very uh, important informations uh, regarding icmpo by many of my colleagues and especially the journal part we know that's the very important phase of uh, society uh, coming to the future activities of icmpo which has been decided and deliberated by uh, the executive committee in the past and some of them which is already active uh, starting with uh, one of those important decision uh, taken by uh, executive committee was to have the regional chapters of uh, icmpo and it was thought that maybe uh, we can start with uh, uh, around four regional chapters and then maybe expand it further and these regional chapters uh, may be fairly independent to have their own uh, group of people as a part of their group there and they can have their own academic activities in those part of the uh, country and this process is on already we have those uh, people from different uh, part of uh, the country who are going to represent them and hope that in your future we will we'll see many more activities in this sphere another decision was to have uh, hods as a permanent invitee as a subcommittee to uh, executive committee uh, meetings of uh, icmpo and the idea has been that uh, hods uh, who are uh, uh, you know primarily dealing with the students at uh, various in uh, various institution and the various part of the country they can be one of the very important uh, uh, you know people to have uh, many of the activities which can be student centric and this may involve from uh, developing and modifying so to develop and modify uh, dm curriculum as per the changing time and uh, uh, you know seeing those uh, eligibility criteria for the students what can be the curriculum what can be uh, useful in the future uh, so uh, and many of those uh, 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 you know uh, teaching activities which at this moment we do primarily in our own institution is there a possibility of uh, you know uh, cross uh, feeding into those activities by other institution and see where people can liaise with each other and have those activities where the students can participate and learn from different institutions uh there was also a decision to uh, have a young oncologist uh, you know group and uh, these are the group of people who have uh, primarily passed out in uh, last 5 7 years and idea has been to have them uh, uh, you know initiatives and activities which is focus on those group of people uh, and what we have understood that the requirement for these group of people have been bit different from the students and also from the senior colleagues so it is important that we have them as a you know part of the group who can have those activities which is uh, you know uh, important for uh, these uh, group of people uh, in fact uh, one of those activities uh, that is a patient awareness uh, 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 you know uh, activities which has been again approved by the uh, executive committee it, uh, what we have seen that young colleges group they have uh, done some of the work where we have those initial videos which is ready and which has been shared with icmpo admin uh, and idea has been that uh, this is one of those activities where any ic icmpo member can have uh, uh, you know activities which is uh, 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 you know related to patients and for example having videos posters where patient can have awareness regarding the disease but this can be a wider spectrum and this is one of the activities which we have started in fact uh, patient advocacy advocacy group which has been not much activity across the country as far as the oncology is concerned and let's hope that this can lead to some of those activities uh, you know for them there has been also planned to have a student subcommittee where a student can take initiative uh, which can allow them to be part of uh, the icmpo from the beginning the day they join the uh, medical oncology uh, fraternity and they also uh, uh, initiate activities which is important for them including from the teaching to job opportunities to which kind of different kind of job opportunities you have so those can be uh, you know activities which they can do and this is yet to uh, you know start these are some of the activities what uh, you know i wanted to bring out as far as these initiatives are concerned that uh, we have had uh, many initiatives from icmpo these are some of those relatively uh, new initiative uh, icmpo has been open to uh, having initiatives which is 
uh, which can be useful to a many segment of uh, ICM, ICMPO members and the potential members in future. Uh, my request will be on behalf of uh, ISMPO uh, uh, Executive Committee to all ISMPO members, uh, please uh, participate in these activities, take initiatives. Uh, 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 one of them has been uh, by Dr. Jyoti just recently for uh, rare tumors. Uh, which uh, you know, she has also agreed to uh, take it forward. We also want the potential ISMPO members who are eligible and who are not to please join the uh, ISMPO. Uh, uh, there are many opportunities to work in many areas of oncology in ISMPO where uh, you can grow uh, in your academic career. Uh, thank you.